welcome to my channel being you now thank you so so much for being with me here today today i'm doing a reading for aries sun moon rising and venus this reading is for you if you have aries placements if this reading doesn't resonate please head over to the videos tab there might be another reading that is more suitable to your individual circumstance now today um hit the i do aries readings daily so hit the notification bell and subscribe it's completely free that way you know when the next reading becomes available and you are in all the things i also do one minute reads which is in the short section of my channel and there's always a lot of fun and fabulous things happening in the community tab. that way you are in all the things and it doesn't cost you a thing it's completely free so today i was guided to work with the chakra chakra cards so let's see what is going on with my aries what is the energy what is the vibe what is going on with my aries this card wants to come out in my meditation spirit was really i saw a lot of glowing colors and lots of messages coming through in the meditation which is why i was guided to work with this i will be working with the traditional tarot as well so stay till the end chakra mindset i love this so this card here it is talking about working with your chakras aries so if you don't know we have seven key energy centers in our body we have lots the whole body is filled with energy centers but this chakra mindset is talking about alignment so you, some of you might benefit from getting chakra healing chakra balancing or really focusing on working with your chakras if that's something you do energy healing such as reiki would also be beneficial if that's something you're thinking about take this as a confirmation but it's chakra mindset is about alignment so when we are aligned what happens everything is flowing smoothly there is this beautiful dance and flow of energy and we are able to communicate about things clearly we're able to show up and take action from a place of trust intuition and knowing we are able to love fully and give and receive love fully as well we feel comfortable and confident and safe and secure in our earthly matters as well as finances and family and relationships so very very beautiful message um some of you could definitely benefit from healing if that is something you desire email me i offer all the all of the above i'm also an energy healer if you didn't know that is something that i do with my clients all over the world but chakra mindset is about shifting also your mindset to alignment so those are the two key messages coming up for you trusting did i not mention trusting i love this there is a butterfly here in this trusting card what this card is really saying aries is that the more you trust the more you will open up your wings and take flight in life trust is one of your superpowers now trusting doesn't mean that just believing people really need it. trusting is about also trusting your guidance your intuition tapping inwards if something feels right you know that it's coming from a place of deep inner knowing if something doesn't feel right it's also about trusting what signs synchronicities what what is the vibe what is the energy are you picking up on you know that do people are people actually making you feel safe secure or are they bringing about more making you question more bringing about doubt fears that's what this trusting card is about this is about inner knowing and trusting yourself but also how you give your trust to others and in relationships so relationships doesn't always have to be romance there's also this dance of trust when we talk about work, colleagues friendships our family that's this trust is such an all-encompassing energy but the more you trust yourself the more you will be able to take flight and also the word transformation and growth is coming up for you so i really really love this energy for you limiting beliefs oh my goodness <laughs> this i just love this so somebody here would really benefit from releasing certain see how it's almost like these plants they're all grown all around her and she is restricted it's like the roots of the plant we can't see the roots so it's almost like we don't know the roots what's causing these limiting beliefs yet we are restricted because of these belief systems that are keeping us stuck and keeping us small so this is about releasing belief systems that don't work you so you can be seen and heard for who you truly are this is these two cards right here now i understand why chakra mindset came up first and foremost because belief systems is all about things in our mind what is it you know this is where stress anxiety sleepless nights all these things happen because we are confining our own selves by believing things that we may not even know where it came from so if this is something you desire to work with again this is something i work with my clients i've got a 
money a specific one for money which is called money mind reset but i also help other clients on belief systems around business around relationships around love around weight loss you name it um it's a very very powerful tool that i work with i'm qualified certified all the things anyway so if some that's something you desire my email information is in the description box this right here is talking about major realignment so if you're desiring growth transformation elevation expansion realign yourself to the version that you desire to be not the version that you are because where you are is what is currently restricting or confining some of you for others of you you might have already be here maybe you were here and you've trusted your feelings you took action and as a result you feel free you feel aligned you feel you're expanding and elevating so depending on where you are on the timeline i need to mention that because everyone's journey is different and this is a collective read it's not a one-to-one -one read so you you place these energies where you see fit for your particular journey okay so let's see what what's the current energy of my aries current energy anything else current energy okay for those two want to come out let's see so in your current energy you have eight of cups absolutely you you are either desiring to walk away from someone or you walked away because see how she is sitting there i'm saying she because yeah long hair could be a he can't see the face so male female she is looking she is perched on this rock looking further and looking at the moon now we don't know whether she's already walked away because the cups are on this side i would say she's walked away or she's thinking about walking away because the wand is still in her hand so it's almost like whether or not she's taken action we don't know in this um reading so for some of you you've already walked away and you've turned your back to those cups and you know that that doesn't serve you could be your limiting beliefs could be other people's beliefs could be things that you've left people places situations you've left behind and healed and grown from for others of you this is where you at right now and you're desiring a change you're desiring a shift and you're looking out and you're like well what will be available to me if i leave this is your current energy I love this combination this right here says it all so this is you are planning and so some of you are literally in planning and preparation mode for leaving something behind whether it's a job situation career or love situation or relationship relationship doesn't always have to be love and romantic it could also be with French friend circles and also um, family members which can be very very difficult so with the two of wands you are looking out in both these cards you can see that the person is looking at options so you are looking at options. What are my options right now? What can I do? What, where will I go? What will I do next? If I walk away from this job or this relationship, what will the implications be if it's a close family member? What, what support do I need? So some of you could re literally be needing support. Aries, one of the other things that came up in, your med in my meditation today was one of the things with Aries is because we are a fire sign, we are highly independent. And sometimes we forget. It's not even that we don't want. Sometimes we forget to ask for help. So in my meditation, one of the messages I got, it's, it's okay, Aries. It's okay to ask and receive help. You might want to claim this in comments. It's okay for me to ask and receive help. Because receiving help is not a weakness. It just basically shows that you don't have all the tools and answers, which is clearly what's happening here. So help here could be, you know, might be getting a tarot reading might be working with a counselor might be working with a healer might be working with um i don't know a job recruitment company whatever the case may be depending on where you are working with an attorney if you're starting a business or looking to do that right so whatever the case may be what spirit is saying is it's okay to ask for help as you're assessing your options you are planning and preparing and what you want to do in planning and preparation is you want to it's not about you know making everything perfect no but it's making sure that you have enough support and my aries i know i'm an aries myself because we're so independent we just find it quicker to do it ourselves but we have to know and understand that we are not an expert in everything and asking for help can actually give us the clarity can make it easier to make decisions can collapse timelines if you work with an expert who's a healer or who's a mindset coach or who can help you with the money belief systems yeah it might cost you money to hire that person but imagine all the months and years you didn't make money if that person helps you and all of a sudden you can you start making money 
don't you think that's a major windfall you're making progress and now you are expanding elevating and getting to the next level same thing with healing rather than being stuck in that same relationship or you know trying to heal from something which has happened three five eleven years depending on where you are but if you work with a specialist a counselor a healer a mentor whatever the case may be for you then you might be able to get past that let go and release that so it's very very strong message very strong message right there feels like a personal read all right so what is coming towards my aries what is coming towards my aries this is a very deep reading almost personal look how many cards want to come out this is like six seven cards what's coming towards six seven cards want to come out what's coming towards my aries wow i'll take that and i'll take those that anything else coming towards coming towards okay we'll start with this eight of swords now you've got eight eight so you might be seeing eight 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 um and this 2024 is the number uh, the year is eight as well so this could be very significant what is coming towards you eight of swords is saying this is all mental energy and you have limiting beliefs right here i mean this is the magic of tarot and working with oracle cards it always ties up this to me right here is saying that it's all in your mind you are keeping yourself restricted from moving forward so get the help the the message on help is very strong for somebody here it's okay it's okay i am saying to you if sometimes we just need to hear right that it's okay to receive help you deserve it you're worthy you're worthy you're deeply supported and this is the thing about aries being an independent sign sometimes we feel like no no we, we have to do it all ourselves being the pioneers the leaders the emperors that you know emperor male female energy but that's the energy we're talking about it's that visionary leader and because we think and are already million miles an hour doesn't mean that we don't need support and one thing we have to remember about the emperor the emperor does not build the empire on his own he has an army of people that helps and supports and advises him and that's your single biggest piece of advice yeah some of you are definitely feeling the wounded warrior so you're this is coming in terms of if if you are not going to be letting go of this situation and walk away what will end up happening is you will it will be consuming too much of your mental energy and it will keep you stuck and in the in the um wounded warrior energy which is the nine of wands the other thing what spirit is saying is that yes this journey could have been long could have been painful but what spirit is saying with the nine of wands is you are one wand away from completion so now is not the time to give up on your journey now is not the time to give up on what you believe to be true that trusting card this is tying back to the trusting card if you innately believe and know something now is not the time to keep doing what you've always done to get the same result even though it doesn't make you feel valued loved safe whatever the case may be for you because that's why you know not doing something can also keep you stuck and that's very much this energy you know the energy of number eight eight of swords and it's a lot of mental energy so some of you are really stressing your own selves out with you know whatever you've been through in the past and you keep replaying that again the wounded warrior warrior this is someone who keeps replaying the replaying the same scenario over and over and over again it never worked for me i never get love i never get that job if you keep saying that you're keeping yourself stuck with this limiting beliefs card and this is why then you can't get the promotion the job or whatever the case may be so this is more in your this is what spirit is saying in terms of your advice your single biggest piece of advice is to get out of your mind and pick up the wands because aries your fire energy you thrive when you're taking action so trust what action you need to take i'm not saying go and quit your job i'm not saying go and leave your relationship it's about trusting and knowing this is also tapping into your intuition and knowing what is right for you right this moment in time okay so what is oh my goodness look at that oh I, you can't make it up look at this ten of wands literally flew out like that and we also have the three of wands so your ships are definitely coming in lots of one energy that just flew out i'm just queen of swords eight of pentacles nine of pentacles i mean you are very close to your wish fulfillment 
nine of pentacles coming to yourself okay so let's because half the deck flew out Aries reads <laughs> I mean your readings are always like this so many cards want to come out and spirit always has so many messages for you okay I feel like that wants to come out okay let's see the chariot yes this is a big major confirmation cancer energy so you may have cancer placements in your chart but this right here is saying it's time to move forward Aries it's time to move forward and really truly walk away walk away from this person place situation because it is not serving you that's what this is saying these two cards right here that's what it's confirming for you I'm just going to put that there because we have a lot of cards king of cups this is you going towards what you love some going towards what gives you deep emotional fulfillment going towards something that makes you feel understood safe there is channels of communication and beautiful exchange of giving and receiving this is about balance restoring balance in your life whether it's to do with relationship job money yeah page of wands page of wands this is news this is good news coming i mean i really like these three cards that have come up with the chariot so there is definitely some form of news that's coming towards you that's going to make you happy with the king of cups something that's going to give you emotional fulfillment feel in alignment to what it is that you desire and going towards so i really 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 love this energy for you let's see what else has come up so this is all in your advice so in your advice spirit is actually encouraging you to take that step forward towards what you love what makes you feel balanced what makes you feel there is this beautiful dance and exchange of giving and receiving and there is some news and offer could be a job offer letter for some of you this could also be you know a friend if you're needing support i also feel like the king of cups in this situation and this is a very unusual read but if you're going to be working with an energy healer or um, a counselor this is someone who is not just going to be this is someone who's going to actually support you they're also going to be very they will be very good with listening to what you have to say and share very empathetic energy but also there, there will be this trust so this 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 energy of the king of cups is someone who's very nurturing and nourishing and will be very healing for your soul ties back with the chakra mindset card okay seven of cups yeah some of you have maybe the eight of swords is because you have too many options so now it's about cutting out the options that don't serve you let's see what else we have king of swords oh my goodness absolutely this is about you know cutting out options that don't serve you now this king of swords is someone who's highly intelligent this is also my card of coach mentor um you know legal matters so this is about the expert hire the expert spirit is definitely saying to somebody here hire the expert you've got two options available two experts that you could be working with one could be more nurturing and nourishing and the other one would be would is more of the you know no bs approach very logical very practical highly intelligent not saying the king of cups is not intelligent it's just different energy and style so that's also available to you if you desire that four of wands i love this i absolutely love this because this is the king of swords and the king of cups these you have two options as well in relation to work i feel like one energy is the king of cups one is very straightforward to the point king of um, swords the other one is king of cups who's very nurturing nourishing understanding you know so say for example if you're taking a job which is up leveling this is the energy that's very understanding very calm patient whereas the king of swords energy is one that will go on facts figures um what is there what's not there very logical very practical so these two energies you're happy ever after for some of you this is in relation to love um so one is water energy the other one is air energy so water cancer scorpio pisces air gemini libra aquarius you take what resonates but this is leading you to your happily ever after so you have options aries you have options you don't have to feel like you don't have any options and you have to be stuck and the moment you 
Start with the chariot. The moment you decide to move forward, the momentum is happening very, very quickly. So, you know, there is often this myth, I'll say this in um, being an energy healer, I know that, you know, a lot of the times people think that healing, working with mindset will take years and years and years and years. It depends on what tools you're working with. It also depends on your style and it also depends on where you are on your journey. If you're starting out, yeah, it might take a little bit longer. But if you are super keen and, you know, full body in, full body yes, transformation can happen overnight. And I've seen this over and over and over again. It just depends on where you are on your journey and how open you are to receiving. It's like you could be getting the most amazing, the most amazing, your most perfect job might be out there, right? But if you don't, if you're not looking for the job, you're going to pass it by. But if the perfect job is out there and if you're looking for a job right now, you will see it. It will be in your energy field and you'll apply for it and get it. That's kind of the vibe that I'm, you know, I'm just trying to give you use some examples to share with you what I mean by that. So if you're looking to work with healers, healers, coaches, mentor, and you're thinking it's going to take years and years and years, this is saying no. Things can happen quickly, rapidly. It's about how you show up energetically. It's chakra mindset. It's your mindset. When you're working with someone, are you being resistant? Are you trusting? You need to trust the process. That's why the trusting card is there as well. When you hire a professional, do you trust them? Or are you still being a skeptic? You know, so this is kind of the energy that spirit is saying to you. Because if you're always going to be skeptic, then you, you are limiting your own self. You're standing in your own way from truly opening yourself up to the transformation. That's what this is saying. This is a very deep reading. It feels like a personal read. Truly. It really does. So, you know, this is about where are you on your timeline? Are you truly trusting the process? Are you trusting yourself? Are you trusting the people that are around you, giving you advice, working with you, helping you, whether it's healers, mentors, coaches, counselors, whatever the case may be for you? So where where are you on that path? That's what spirit is asking you. Now, this is epic. If you desire to work on money mindset or any of the other limiting beliefs, whether it's in relationships, I've had people come to me for weight loss. Um, I've had people come to me for confidence, all sorts of things, for business, for career, wanting to really step up and be seen. Then my information is in the description box. If you desire to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that is also in the description box. And if you desire to come to come with me to Bali, where we will be doing all of the things, mind, body, soul connection, a journey that is going to be just so grounding, nourishing, but healing, healing from the inside out. We will be doing lots of amazing, epic things, which will bring us and connect us deeply within ourselves and also with each other. I only have four spots available. So if this is you, we are going to Bali in April. Yes, during Aries season and closing Aries season with a bang. Email me if you haven't already. So many of you have been on beautiful, delicious, juicy conversations with me. I do have a process because I'm only, only opening up four spots. Once these four spots are taken, they're taken. There are no more additional spots. Only four people will be coming with me. So if this is something you desire, something to fill your own cup, to nourish you. I mean, chariot is also travel. So if this is something you desire, if you've always wanted to go to Bali, if you've always wanted to be on a spiritual journey, this could be very, very healing and nourishing. You trust yourself. I'm not saying to you, you must come. No, you trust what you feel. You trust yourself. Do you feel the pull? Do you feel the nudge? Do you feel the calling? Is this something that you desire in the depths of your heart and your soul? If that's a yes, 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 then I would love to hear from you. Contact me if you haven't already because I am locking everything to do with Bali by 31 January. And if you have been following me for a little while, I, I, have, I was in Bali not long ago and it was just a true game changer for me on a number of different fronts which I will be sharing with the people joining me in April when we go back to Bali. So Aries, thank you so much, truly. Thank you so, so much for all your love, support, kindness, and all the things to me and my channel. So many of you email me gratitude. So many of you donate to my channel. All these things really, really help me to continue delivering daily readings for you. 
but also upgrading and bringing new tools, resources to the channel for the greater good. So I truly, truly, truly appreciate you and I'm continuously improving behind the scenes technology and bringing more different decks and all sorts of things that some things you don't see and other things you get to see like the decks. <laughs> so I really truly want to just express my gratitude truly. Thank you. And please do tap that like subscribe button if you haven't already. It's completely free but that way and the notification bell that way you know when anything new comes up. A lot of the times the emails I get is you missed out on the full moon. You don't know where um, you just heard about Bali or you don't know where you know where's the how to book personal readings and all the things so if or, or where's additional resources and guidance I post so much additional value in the communities tab so a lot of people don't know where the communities tab is hit that notification bell it's completely free that way you get notified on all the things doesn't cost you anything it's free but you are in all the things. So thank you, Aries, from the bottom of my heart for being here. And remember, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.